Ah, what to do when you fuck up? You know, sometimes you enter into a discussion with somebody or there is a fight, there is tension building up with somebody. And the truth is that, yes, yeah, sometimes you are going to um, communicate in ways that are either inappropriate or too loud or too direct or too whatever. The point is that some people get sometimes offended by what you say and them getting offended is not necessarily something wrong with them it means that sometimes you might really cross the line you might be disrespectful and so if you feel like you fucked up with somebody if you feel like you messed up in the way you have been communicating a very simple trick here it is it's a magical trick say I'm sorry apologize <clears throat> say I'm sorry so it's not just saying I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a couple of ideas on how to apologize in a proper way. What I feel really works is to, to take a moment to check in inside of you and think, what is it that I did that created either trigger or uh, made somebody feel really uncomfortable or unsafe? And check in internally, what was the communication pattern? What was the emotion that was there? So take a moment to really reflect on what you did and how your words impacted on that person. So really take a moment. Before you say, I'm sorry, take a moment to observe that. And then the second step is to design or try to understand if there is another way of communicating or another way of being with that person in the future. For instance, if you notice that there is a topic in their lives which is extremely sensitive or that you tend to force your advice on somebody and they don't really want to hear it. Or you might be laughing too loud or being too invasive of their space. You know, whatever this might be, try to identify the exact pattern that creates the trigger. That's step number two, okay? It's like you take a moment to pause, you observe that, and then step number three, try to design a new way of relating to that person that doesn't involve you bringing them either to trigger or bringing them to discomfort. So the, the new pattern might be avoiding certain conversation topics or conversing from them from a place where you give them space to have their own opinion. Being a good listener, you know, there is always a tactic or there is a strategy that is going to work better than the one that created the trigger. And sometimes, yeah, it might be removing yourself from that person's presence, but take a moment to check that. And one, for instance, that I like, you know, sometimes if I'm in a conversation with somebody and I feel like a trigger is created, then I might say something like, if, first I say, I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings, that I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry that I said those things and I know that this might be, might have been offensive to you, and I can understand why you're triggered by that. And then I would say something like, and if I was exposed to the same situation again, here is how I would behave instead, or here is what I would say instead. Here is what the message I really want to give you. You know, for instance, if you have been complaining to a lover or to a friend or to somebody, instead of just saying, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, that's, that's fine, that's, that's already great, that's a good start, but it's a little bit empty if you don't know what to do instead. Don't say, I'm sorry, and I realized that I was a little bit pushy in the way I communicated to you. I was trying to force my opinion without listening to you. And so here is what I would say, or what I would do instead. It means I would, I would make a point of listening better to you in the future. Okay, you get that? This is a very simple tactic, apologizing and modifying your behavior uh, that can really solve you lots of trouble, lots of tension, lots of conflicts with uh, the people that you love around you. I hope that makes sense. I love you.